A deadly ice storm is gripping parts of the south. At least two people died in crashes on slick roads in Texas yesterday, and tens of thousands of people there are now without power. 38 million Americans from Texas to Virginia are under weather warnings and advisories this morning. So for more on the storm, let's bring in CBS News correspondent Omar Villafranca. He's in Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, Omar, good morning. You look a little chilly there. Good morning. Temperatures are still below freezing here in Memphis. And after several hours of sleet and freezing rain, this is what everything looks like. This looks pretty, but it's encrusted in ice. And so are the roads. And it's turned this region into a travel nightmare. Here in Memphis, icy conditions led to a 12 car pileup on Tuesday. Police said five drivers were hospitalized, all with non life threatening injuries. People are just taking it for granted that they can just stop and you can't. The roads are slick. In St. Francis County, Arkansas, a similar scene. Ice sent three semi trucks sliding off the road, slowing traffic on Interstate 40 to a crawl. It was so cold, even some of the transportation department's cameras froze over. There were hundreds of collisions across Texas as well, including a pileup in Austin that left one person dead early Tuesday morning. At Dallas-Fort Worth International Airport, the winter blast was a factor as more than 60% of flights were canceled, part of the nearly 2,000 cancellations nationwide. The cold forced Dallas resident Andrew Ventura to move some of his belongings into his truck, using it to keep warm and charge his phone after his apartment lost electricity. Power outages have been uh, pretty bad around here. It started last night and then it lasted throughout the night until about 4 or 5 a.m. Power kicked back on and then went back off a few hours later. Despite thousands of outages across Texas, Governor Greg Abbott said there's not a threat to the state's power grid. Local outages are not a, a reason to say that there is a problem with the power grid. The power grid is functioning just fine as we speak. Dozens of schools across the region are closed today because of the weather. In fact, Memphis is under an ice storm warning until at least tomorrow morning. Amory. So we got a little sense of just how bad travel was uh, yesterday. It, just kind of moving forward today and tomorrow. You know, how was travel looking on the roads? What about flights? Not good on the roads. Right mm -hmm. now it's still freezing. We're not expected to get above freezing uh, here in Memphis and other parts of this region until at least after 12 noon here. So that's going to be an issue. And salt and sand trucks are passing by as we speak right now. Still trying to keep up if people are going to have to get out this morning. Um, so it's going to be tough. As for airports, uh, the vice president is supposed to come here to, to Memphis today for a funeral. Um, and we're curious to see how that's going to work. Um, I'm, you know, Air Force Two, I'm sure, has some other privileges that other flights do not have. Uh, but we're curious to see how air travel is going to be in and out, not only here in Memphis. You saw what happened in DFW and Dallas Love Field. It's a mess down there as well. So we're going to have to see how those airports react on day two. And we had mentioned that this storm had, had already turned deadly in Texas. Two people uh, dead as a result of the storm. Um, can you give us any details about the deaths? Um, well, a lot of them were car accidents. Mm. I mean, a, a lot of places in Texas, you know, they don't have the salt and sand truck capabilities that they do have in the Northeast, and they don't have a high uh, salt content that they put in the in what they put on the roads in the brine because they don't want to tear up the roads. So. You know, if there's hmm. rain that comes in and this storm had rain before, they won't lay it down beforehand because it'll just wash away. So they're trying to keep up with it as it came in. So a uh, very slick road still in Texas. Though. Right. It sounds like the best advice is to stay off the roads if you have an option. Yep. Um, Omar, thank you very much.